All right, let's start with the basics, and I promise to keep it painless. Your CPU is the brain doing all the heavy lifting. RAM is your workspace for active tasks. Storage is where everything lives permanently, even when you pull the plug. Your operating system keeps the chaos organized so everything actually works together. Forget memorizing specs. Instead, understand how programs live. They start, eat resources, mess with files, then close. Simple as that. Here's something fun to try. Open Task Manager and launch Chrome with like 20 tabs. Watch it gobble up RAM like it's starving. This isn't just entertainment. You're training yourself to spot weird behavior. When a simple notepad app suddenly uses 3 GB of RAM, you'll know something's off. Maybe it's crypto mining. Maybe it's just garbage code. Either way, you caught it. Quick truth, your computer doesn't slow down from age. It's just drowning in digital clutter from programs that never clean up after themselves. Network Fundamentals Cybersecurity is basically understanding how machines gossip with each other. Here's the stuff that actually matters. IP addresses are like home addresses. Ports are the doors. 80 and 443 are where web traffic usually shows up. DNS translates names into numbers that computers understand. Data moves in packets, little chunks racing around. And the TCP handshake, two computers literally going, hey, sup? Cool, let's talk. Honestly, wish people communicated this efficiently. Try this. Log into your router, probably still has admin as the password, which we should change that. Check out your network devices. That mystery device at 192.168.1.247 could be your smart fridge judging your midnight snacks. Understanding networks is like getting x-ray vision for the invisible data highway around you. Right now, your phone just pinged three servers while you read this. Creepy and cool at the same time. Coding Essentials Relax, you don't need to be a programming genius, just dangerous enough to be useful. Start with Python because it's readable and every security tool loves it. Learn file operations, loops, regex for pattern matching, and basic network requests. Add some bash scripting for Linux, Three commands chained together can save you hours and make you feel like a movie hacker. Want to peek under the hood? Learn a bit of C to understand how memory works. You won't use it daily, but you'll appreciate knowing what's happening behind the scenes. Quick project? Write a script that pings IPs from a list or pulls emails from messy text. You're building baby hacking tools here, and honestly, you'll realize that expensive commercial tools often do exactly what your 30-line script does. Real talk, my first script had 73 errors. The computer judged me hard, but by script 100, pure magic. Everyone starts somewhere. Operating systems deep dive. Each OS has its quirks. Windows has PowerShell, event logs hidden in weird spots, and the registry, that mystical database you absolutely shouldn't mess with unless you know what you're doing. Linux has system D, cron jobs for automation magic, and a permission system that's actually logical once you stop panicking. Knowing these internals is like having the secret castle map. You'll spot vulnerabilities, weak permissions equals unlocked back doors, and know exactly where to look when something's fishy. Windows Reality Check, the registry is powerful and terrifying. Editing it feels like defusing a bomb. One wrong click and you're reinstalling Windows. Linux Essentials. If cybersecurity were a game, Linux is the main map. Most servers and tools live here, so get comfortable. Install a Linux VM and actually use it. Learn the neighborhoods, slash etc, slash var, slash home. Then master these commands. ls shows files. cd moves you around. cat reads files fast. grep finds stuff in massive logs. Aux slices data into columns. Sed edits text instantly. Chamad sets permissions. Chone changes ownership. PS shows running programs. SS reveals network connections. Ping tests if something's alive. Traceroute maps your data's journey. And tail F logs lets you watch logs update live. Weirdly satisfying. Honest moment. Week one feels like learning an alien language. By week three, Clicking through menus feels painfully slow. There's something addictive about typing grep error instead of manually searching like a caveman. Warning, 
you'll develop a superiority complex. You'll start sentences with, actually, on Linux, and friends will avoid you at parties. Worth it, though. Security Tools Arsenal Tools are cool, but they're just fancy hammers. Understand the purpose first. Nmap scans for open ports. Wireshark captures network traffic in your lab. Burp Suite shows what your browser really sends. Spoiler, it's chatty. Metasploit is for controlled exploitation testing, not toys. John Hashcat crack password hashes for educational labs only. VS Code plus Git keeps your scripts organized. Hot take. People collect tools like Pokemon cards. You don't need 47 port scanners. Master one tool, then move on. Confession. I once accidentally scanned my entire college network. IT was not happy. Always triple check your target range. Core security concepts. Tools mean nothing without fundamentals. Firewalls block bad traffic. Antivirus sniffs for threats. Hashing is one way, encryption goes both ways. Authentication proves identity, passwords, MFA, biometrics, because humans are terrible at remembering secure passwords. Learn basic crypto concepts, not the scary math, just ideas. Study common fails like default credentials and open ports screaming into the internet. Privacy matters too. You can't defend data if you don't understand what needs protecting. Real example. A company got breached because someone left a database open with default credentials. No fancy hacking needed, just basic incompetence. Don't be that guy. Community engagement. Here's the fun part. Join the tribe. Discord servers and Reddit groups are full of beginners with the same questions. Follow security blogs. Most important, practice on legal platforms like TryHackMe, OverTheWire, and PicoCTF. These are your training grounds where breaking stuff is encouraged. The cybersecurity community is surprisingly friendly for people who break things professionally. Ask questions. Share failures. Everyone has them. Help others when you can. Fair warning, CTF competitions are addictive. That feeling when you crack a challenge? Pure dopamine. You've been warned. Final truth. Every expert once Googled what is an IP address. The difference? They kept going when confused. You've got this. Now go build something, break something, legally, and have fun with it. Look, here's the deal. Cybersecurity is a journey, not a sprint. I've packed years of lessons into this video, but this is just the beginning. If you found this helpful and want more breakdowns like this, no fluff, just practical stuff that actually works, hit that subscribe button. I'm dropping videos regularly on hacking techniques, security challenges, tool tutorials, and the mistakes I made so you don't have to. Plus, there's a whole community of people in the comments section sharing tips and helping each other out. So subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's keep learning together. Drop a comment telling me what topic you want covered next. I actually read them. All right, now get out there and start your cybersecurity journey. I'll see you in the next one.